Hi everyone and welcome to this video and if you're new, welcome to my channel. I don't have anything on my face right now except the moisturizer and the primer and my eyebrows, eyebrows are done. But today I want to try the Huda Beauty foundation. Last week I was in Sephora and bought a couple of things from Hourglass to try out and I love all the products. But also I was very curious to see and try the Huda Beauty foundation. So the girl in the store helped me choose a shade and I didn't bought the full size because all of the foundations were too yellow toned. I have neutral skin tone, so I'm not even pink. I'm not pink, but also not, I'm not yellow on the tone. It's a neut neutral. And all of the shades, even the neutral shades, were very yellow toned. But the one that was closest to my skin tone was this 330N. So I have this small sample in here and I hope it will be enough to try it out today. Uh, because I really want to buy that foundation, I don't know why, maybe it's full coverage and I love Huda Beauty products. But uh, for my primer I have a Lancome Prep and, Pri Prep and Map, this is my favorite primer. The more I use it, the more I love it. So this is amazing for oily skin. And I also am going to try with a brush and with a beauty sponge. This is Eco Tool sponge. I hope this is will be this will be enough for me to try before I go and buy this foundation. It's very liquidy, but uh, let's scoop you in and see how it's going. You can see this is neutral, but it's very yellow tone. So I'm going to try it with a brush and it's liquidy. I'm kind of nervous. I hope this will be enough to try out the foundation. It smells like the powder, but I love the smell of the powder. So it doesn't really bother me. If you don't like product that smell like a perfume, you maybe won't like this foundation. Let me. We couldn't try another shade because if they were too light. Oh my god, this is more than enough. It's um, not maybe the best shade for me, but let's see. Oh, I love the coverage of it. I really love the coverage of it. And I like how it goes on with the brush. It's, I don't know, maybe too yellow. But it's neutral. So let's go in with the foundation again and try it on this side with a beauty sponge. I always say beauty blender, but it's not a beauty blender. So let's. in with my sponge. So let's see. There is no difference between the application with the brush or with the sponge. I will take a foundation brush and I will dip it in the this and I'll try to apply the parts where I need more coverage. Just start a couple of times. When I feel like I need more coverage. Okay, and I'll go with the beauty sponge because it's easier. It dries down very fast and I feel like it oxidizes a little bit on my skin. If I like the foundation, I'll probably go back to Sephora and uh, help me choose another shade. So this looks good. So it looks a little bit dry on the skin, but the most foundation that look dry on my skin after a couple of hours when my natural oils kind of start coming through a little bit, then it looks more natural. But let me zoom you in so you can see better. Uh, I'm scared that it's going to be looking very dry under my eyes after applying or baking. 
but with the powder. But I'll go in with this Radiant Creamy Concealer from NARS in shade Vanilla. It's a little bit light, maybe too light for me right now. But this foundation is a little bit dark. Well, this concealer applied very nice over the foundation. I think like I don't need to set my foundation at all, but I am going to do it a little bit. But it feels like it's already set with the powder. Uh, this is definitely maybe not. This is definitely not a foundation for our for dry skin. I will use the Huda Beauty powder. This is sugar cookie. I also have this one cupcake that I love very very much but this is also good it's translucent so that's good so i'm going to i'm going to bake just a little bit on my eyes i'm not going to keep it there for a long time and i'm going to use this powder just to press it in with this puff like i always do i'm actually going to finish my makeup look and i'll be back to see how this looks after a couple of minutes right now it's 11 o'clock and i'll be right back when i finish my makeup look so guys i'm done finally i've been struggling a lot with my eyeshadows today my eye makeup look i think like i have like three or five different you know three or four different eyeshadow palettes like six seven different eyeshadows on my eyelids and it still doesn't look the way i wanted it to look I don't know what's wrong, something's wrong today, but the makeup, it looks full coverage. I love the coverage of it. Um, it feels lightweight, even if I have a lot of foundation. I did use these two setting sprays and I did bake a little bit under my eyes. It doesn't look dry as I thought it would, though the tone of the foundation, the neutral tone, I don't like guys. I, I feel like it's too yellow. I don't know how it's going to look in natural lights, but in my studio lights it's it looks a little bit yellow. I don't know what you think. Please let me know down below. It reminds me of Marc Jacobs foundation that I didn't like. First when I applied it, I really loved it. But when I was wearing it more and more, it started breaking, it started separating on my skin and it looked cakey. Uh, it also happened with the Urban Decay foundation. I didn't like that one either. I love the coverage and everything, but during the day it started breaking apart. It started fading on different places and it looked too heavy and too cakey. I'm scared that this is going to be the same thing. It gives me the same coverage. It is lightweight like those are. It looks like I have foundational, so it's not natural. <laughs> This is not for natural makeup look, though it looks beautiful. It looks nice, but I have a feeling that it's not going to work. Let me zoom in. Comparing this one to the one that I tried yesterday, the, this video is going to be up later than this one so for me it's yesterday but for you it's a couple of weeks or days between them this foundation i really love i really really love and it's lightweight it's full coverage and it feels like my skin this foundation has a little bit more coverage i hate the undertone of it it's not neutral at all but it looks good this is like a party makeup or you know when you're going to special occasions and you want your makeup to look good i hope this will look better and look like this the whole day if it's starting to look cakey heavy and start to break apart i won't buy it i won't otherwise if it stays like this for a whole day and maybe when my natural oils start to coming through a little bit maybe it will look less heavy and less i do like matte and foundation but this is a little bit too matte it kind of exaggerates my smile lines and my wrinkles i'm not hating it but i don't want to i, I need to wait with this foundation to give you my full thoughts i'm going to wear it the whole day i've been having it on for 30 minutes it's 
11.30 right now, so for 30 minutes. And I'll uh, have it on for as long as I can today, and I'll be checking in a couple of hours, so see you soon. So guys, I'm back, and it's been a very, very long day, and it's... 10 o'clock at night and I had this foundation for around 11 hours so let's see how it's looking I haven't touched up even once and even the lipstick looks good not good but it looks okay after 11 hours eating and drinking and yeah I didn't touch up anything the foundation is still on yeah it didn't fade any anywhere bronzer blush highlighter is there I'm a little bit shiny and for 11 hours this is looking amazing. It didn't settle into my fine lines. Actually it stayed on as I like I just applied it. It didn't move. It did oxidize so I look very yellow orange right now i do not like this shade on me i think it's a little bit too dark it's a too dark and it's too yellow i don't really understand why because it's supposed to be neutral it's 330 neutral it's not neutral it's yellow but i'm not mad at the foundation i'm really surprised because it stayed the same for the whole day Really, it looks like I've just applied it, except that I look shiny. Let me just try to take off some of the ox excess of this oil that are coming through. But after 10 hours, I'm impressed. So, there is some foundation on the paper, like with every foundation, but this looks there. There is foundation gone, but I've been touching my nose like this the whole day, so it's gone there. But otherwise, it's on my chin, it's on my forehead, it's on my cheeks, it's everywhere. So let me zoom in so you can see better. So the foundation is gone here on my nose, but otherwise it looks good everywhere else. I'm really liking the foundation and I'm, I really want to buy it, but the shade is not right. It's not right. I'll probably check out the other shade, but this one is a little bit, I don't know. I, please let me know down below how you think this shade looks on me. But I, I, I'm surprised. I think it worked fine and I'm definitely going to buy the foundation. Especially when I'm going out with friends or doing spe or on some spe special occasions. Because I really like how it stayed on my skin, how it looks. It didn't gather on my dry patches or on my breakouts. It looks good. I'm surprised. And I really like how it looks after 10 hours. Not 10, 11 hours. After 11 hours, this is amazing. A foundation staying on, on my face. With everything, highlighter, bronzer, blush, everything is on 11 hours. That's that's great. That's amazing. Even my, uh, I think I should have, well, it's still there. didn't start creasing. I did get a little bit of fallout from my mascara. But otherwise, it looks dry on, around my mouth. But it did look dry before. Also, when I applied it, it looks the same. Actually, it looks the same and I'm not mad. I'm kind of surprised. I didn't expect this. And uh, it's... I like it. I like it. I will try... I still have some foundation left here. I will definitely try to put a little bit less of the foundation to see how that is going to look. Because I feel like it looks a little bit heavy. But it doesn't look terrible. It doesn't look cakey. It doesn't look... Like I don't want to wear it, like this Mark Jacobs one. And this one looked very heavy, and I didn't like it. It looked cakey after a couple of hour, hours, but this one looks pretty good. I'm definitely going to try it again to see if I like it more or not. 
but guys that was everything let me know down below if you tried this foundation what you think about it thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and i hope i see you in my next video bye